Welcome to the report for Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about the accusations against Ben Robert Smith uh, and uh, our soldiers tonight on the report for Tiger Mountain. Stick around. Ben Robert Smith did nothing wrong, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. You heard it here first on Report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, this is more bullshit um, being um, this, uh, dished up against our soldiers. Um, obviously, there was this defamation case, um, you know, uh, that he actually, uh, Ben Robert Smith himself, took out against the media. And so they basically, uh, you know, did this kind of, uh, you know, kangaroo trial of him uh, in relation to this defamation case. Uh, and, you know, he lost by one vote. Um, you know, that they said he did. Um, you know, commit some kind of war crimes, ladies and gentlemen. Now, you know, I mean, the issue of war crimes in a in a in a, in a battle like Vietnam or a battle like Afghanistan. First of all, let's let's say this up front: we shouldn't have been in either war, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I mean, the, the Afghanistan war was obviously a globalist war uh, and had more to do with securing the heroin, the illegal heroin supplies, uh, you know, for the globalist cabal than actually uh, you know any other reason. And uh, obviously, they wanted to have some response. To September 11 as well, and they believed Osama bin Laden was in the hills and all that rubbish. Um, you know, as we all know, it was in Pakistan. Uh, you know, in a lovely little uh, compound, having a lot, having a whale of a time. So uh, anyway, we went to war with Afghanistan, as, as you well remember. And you know, both Vietnam and Afghanistan, they were very tricky wars, as you didn't really know who the enemy was. And you would go into a village. Sometimes they were VC, sometimes they were Taliban, sometimes they were you know uh, Muslim extremists, sometimes they weren't. And it's very hard to tell. You know, and I heard with Ben Roberts that you know he he. he Bumped off a couple of people, maybe he shouldn't have. Now, I mean, you know, in a war, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to happen. You know what I mean? And uh, sometimes it's not really the fault, um, you know, of the soldier because they really don't know what's going on and they they figure that's the enemy. You know what I mean? And like, you know, this is the whole hypocrisy. It's like, you know, basically all murder is illegal. You know what I mean? But. So the majority of the murder that goes on in wars, we say is okay, but occasionally one or two people, we say, oh, they got the wrong person. Now maybe they didn't get the wrong person. Maybe this person really was the Taliban. Maybe this person really was the Viet Cong. So maybe the soldier was right. And you know, it's really up to the soldier to make that kind of decision, ladies and gentlemen. I think it's terrible that our governments, and we drag our soldiers through the media. I mean, I, I think that, you know, uh, we have to accept our soldiers are occasionally going to make mistakes, but you know it isn't necessarily um, a war crime, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I mean? Um, and I think you know if Ben Roberts is guilty of anything, he might have made a mistake in relation to a couple of people, but maybe he didn't. Maybe you know the people he he, he killed or, or or is accused of killing really were um, Taliban agents, etc. So I think it's the fog of war, ladies and gentlemen. So this whole case to me stinks. Uh, I don't know the specifics of it. I heard that one of the examples was that it was some kind of old man who. Um, you was using a radio but he wasn't you know part of the Taliban but who knows maybe he was you know what I mean you know and you can't second guess soldiers and you know obviously I've noticed the way our left-wing media in this country want to take this defamation case which by the way is a defamation case it's not as if you know um, Ben Robert Smith has been charged himself and been you know this is this was kind of a you know, a result that came out of a defamation case that's going to be appealed, ladies and gentlemen. So it's not as if he's actually been charged with a criminal offence, but the media, even the right-wing media, went apoplectic over this result, and you know, were calling him a, you know, um, you know, a, you know, basically a war criminal and stuff like this. I just think it's ridiculous. I don't think that's been conclusively proved to any extent. Um, you know, there's that journalist, Nick McKenzie, who's been, uh, you know, on, on top of this, you know, uh, globalist, um, you know, a journalist who's been, um, you know, slandering, um, you know, uh, Ben Robert Smith, etc, etc, etc. I just think it's a, it's a bunch of nonsense and we can't second guess our soldiers. And also I've noticed the way left wing media want to turn this into a general attack upon the Anzacs and the Anzac legacy. If you look at Crikey, if you look at, um, you know, uh, I think it was even the age to some extent, they want to say that our, our kind of hero worship in this country of the Anzacs, that should change because it, you know, it kind of, um, you know, like um, fosters a kind of toxic kind of nationalism. I mean, please piss off. There's no way they're going to bait it. First well, there's no way. You know how the Australians love the Anzacs. We love the fucking Anzacs, ladies and gentlemen. And there's no way this one case is going to stop that, you globalist cunts. So fuck off. We love the Anzacs. And even if Ben Roberts guilty, we don't give a shit. We love the Anzacs. So you're never going to be able to conflate this into some fucking hatred of the Anzacs. So that's just bullshit. So this is it. I think the whole thing is bullshit, first of all, about Ben Roberts, you know, Smith. But it's even more bullshit than trying to conflate it against the Anzacs. Fuck off. We love them and we always will. And we'll have our revenge.